वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज ऑथर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द ब्रोकन टाइप बोल्ट बिफोर बिगनिंग द वीडियो आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट आई हैव मेड टू वीडियो ऑफ द टाइप बोल्ट रिगार्डिंग द टाइप बोल्ट पोजीशन एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टाइप बोल्ट व्हिच इज बीन लॉन्च इन पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट 1 एंड पार्ट 2 please go and see it before uh, beginning the video because this video will be correlated thank you friend let's begin the video now today we are going to talk about operation with the broken type bolt if as i have told you the type bolt function is to keep entablature a frame and bed plate in compression and uh, if the type bolt is broken in that case what will happen as you can see this is the entablature a frame and bed plate is held in compression by the tie bolt now if one of the tie bolt is broken in that case what will happen the vibration will be increased and moreover the a frame and bed plate and entablature and a frame is been also held by a help of holding down bolt and therefore the fitting will occur so in order to prevent vibration and fitting what we have to do to prevent all we need to measure the horizontal movement of the structure with the help of a dial gauge this help this movement will be compared with the documented data when the tie bolt was intact and if the difference between the two data is more than 0.2 mm then the engine power to be reduced accordingly so what do i mean by that that here a dial gauge will be installed and the horizontal movement means this movement this movement will be measured and that horizontal movement data will be compared with the documented data when the tie bolt was intact and if the difference between these two data is more than 0.2 then we have to reduce the power okay suppose when the tie bolt was intact the horizontal movement was 5 5 mm suppose after that when the tie bolt is broken the horizontal movement is 6 mm so it is more than the 0.2 mm therefore we need to reduce the power so that the vibration and fitting can be reduced to a certain limit it cannot be eliminated because the tie bolt is broken so now let's see that we have found out the tie bolt is broken and uh, we have a spare tie bolt so how we are first going to remove the tie bolt broken tie bolt one thing before beginning i want to tell you that the tie bolt removal is been describe in four method clamp method magnetizing method braid over the wire method and method four so before beginning the process of removing the broken tie bolt one thing you should remember that when the tie bolt is broken from a mid section then the top part can be taken out with the help of the crane the main problem comes when we have to remove the bottom part to remove the bottom part we need to take the additional precaution so what we are going to do first what we are going to do we are using a clamp and a wire sling okay and the clamp and wire sling is used to remove the bottom section so let's see how this is been done so what we are going to do we are first going to place a clamp attached to the lower section of the broken tie bolt and it is been attached to the wire sling which is been bolted to the which is been uh, attached to the transfer girder lower part what i have written here let's see a clamp is attached to the lower section of the broken tie bolt and is attached to the two wire sling through chain block okay through thin chain block this has been attached to the lifting point of the transfer girder in the transfer girder a lifting point are been provided for the removal of main bearing bottom main bearing so that in that point we are attaching the chain block and through the chain block and wire sling we are holding the clamp now what we are going to do we are going to attach a flange joint on the bottom section and going to push the broken tie bolt up one method what we can do we can take the top broken tie bolt and we can cut it in a pieces and after that we can insert with a flange section bolted the flange section which has been welded to the or bolted to the broken tie bolt should be 
have a diameter less than the Tybolt tube dia. Okay, so what I have written here slowly slowly it is pushed up and a flange joint is attached in stages. So this flange joint is attached to the this uh, broken to upper part of the tie bolt which has been placed or a separate uh, you can say joint which has been uh, provided and that is been slowly slowly we are pushing the broken tie bolt up by attaching a clamp means we are placing the joint with a flange we are pushing the broken tie bolt up and then we are again pushing it up slowly slowly by stage wise attaching the joint we are pushing the tie bolt up till it come to the top part of the entablature still it come here and after that we are taking it out with the help of a crane so this method is called clamp method okay as it come to the top of the entablature it is taken out with the crane help okay now let's go to the next slide where i am going to explain you about the magnetizing method in the magnetizing method as you can see this is the lifting tackle this is the tube Tybolt tube, okay. Means what do I mean by Tybolt tube? This section, okay. This section where the Tybolt will go through the tube, that is this tube, okay. And this is an a jig which has been made with a with a covered with a tail Teflon. Means this is a Teflon provided for insulation, and this is a jig where the electronic coil is being wrapped around with a power coil. So, and this is a dia D, which this dia diameter is slightly more than the tie bolt dia. Means this diameter is slightly more than the tie bolt dia. So, what we are doing here, this power coil is energized, and when this power coil is energized, this jig will act as an electromagnet. And as we know, the tie bolt is made up of the means steel material, so it will get magnetized and it will come here and get fitted here okay it will get attacked to this point and after that we are slowly slowly keep it moving up till it come to the top surface of the entablature and we will remove it this method is called magnetizing method okay so i hope you understand basically what we are doing we are using a jig whose dia is slightly more than the tie bolt dia and placing it inside the tie bolt tube and after energizing it the tie bolt is getting attracted the broken tie bolt this broken tie bolt is getting attracted and get inserted here and with the help of lifting tackle slowly slowly we are taking it out and as it come on the top of the entablature we take it out with the help of a crane now let's see the third method in third method is called braided wire method what we are doing here a small diameter wire of 7 mm is passed in a form of a loop inside the tie bolt tube as it passes the bottom of a tube a lifting plate can be attached at the bottom piece and slowly tie bolt can be pulled out so what do i mean by that is that a braided wire of 7 mm dia of steel is been passed from top and it passed to the bottom of the tube after that what i have written here as it passes the bottom of the tube a lifting plate can be attached okay and slowly it can be pulled to the top so what do i mean by that that as it passed to the bottom of the tube we are attaching a lifting plate whose dia is less than the tie bolt dia this uh, tie bolt tube dia and after that we are lifting it up by placing a lifting tackle down and we are just lifting it up slowly 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 and as it come on the top with the help of a clamp we are pulling it out this is the third method which is called braided wire method now the method four is employed where the headroom restriction is provided so what i have written here if a headroom of an engine room is restricted in that case we have to cut the tie bolt in a small piece and inside the crankcase and have to take out one by one so what we are doing in this method if suppose this uh, headroom is not sufficient that we can pull it out with the help of a crane the broken tie bolt so what we will do we will cut the broken tie bolt piece slowly by half by half in place inside the crankcase and as we will cut it it will drop down again we will cut it drop down till the whole part will come out but this method is a last option because as we are doing the cutting thing inside the crankcase 
there is a chance of contamination of the crankcase lubricant. So this method is considered as a last last option where we are going to do it. So what I have written here, if the headroom of the engine is restricted, in that case we have to cut the tie bolt in a small piece inside the crankcase and have to take out one by one. Okay, and the new one which is installed is also a screw type and they are screwed before it enters inside the tube. As I have told you, the headroom is restricted, so the new one cannot be installed uh, through a crane. Therefore, it is also the new one is also of screw type which has been screwed before and then it placed inside the tube. So I hope you have understand how we are going to remove the broken tie bolt by clamp method, by magnetizing method, by braided wire method and if the headroom is restricted. Okay, I hope the video is very clear and please do like and subscribe my video and please share if you like it and please keep supporting and keep helping. Image credit goes to marinedesel.co.uk. Thank you friend.